If you have a 1964 Washington Quarter in your collection, you could be holding a valuable coin. To determine its value, start by examining the date below the Washington's bust. Then check the reverse side and make sure there is no demint mark between these olive branches and the face value quarter dollar. It should be something in here above the R. To identify the rare variety, look closely at the reverse lettering for any doubled elements. This specific variety is known as the 1964 double die reverse quarter. According to Variety Vista, the coin displays a strong spread on all lettering, with most prominent doubling on, on quarter dollar. This particular quarter was graded MS63 by PCGS and sold for $119 at Heritage Auctions. This particular quarter was graded MS63 by PCGS and sold for $119 at Heritage Auctions. So guys, welcome back to Coinos. Today we will be showing you several scarce and rare US coins recently sold at different auctions. Please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get the notifications of our recently uploaded videos. Let's move on with this 1952 proof Washington Quarter. This elusive collector's item is known as Super Bird Quarter. The Super Bird variety is known for its distinctive feature on reverse, a small but clear engraving that resembles an S on the eagle's chest. This S detail, which is often associated with Superman logo, led to coin's nickname. While the origin of this engraving is unclear, it may have been added as inside joke by a mint employee. It's this quirky detail that has earned its significant attention and appeal among Washington Quarter enthusiasts and also error collectors. This proof quarter dollar was graded as PR66 by PCGS and it was sold for $180. Here is attractively toned 1958 Dale Inkland scent graded in mint state 65 red and brown by NGC. It is a visually appealing piece, especially with attractive toning that adds unique character to the coin. In this grade, it's considered a gem mint state showing a sharp details, minimal marks and vibrant luster that shines through the red and brown surfaces. The coin's red-brown designation refers to a combination of the original red mint luster with areas that have naturally toned to a brown hue over time. The 1958 deal in is fairly common with a high mintage from Denver Mint. However, finding an example in gem mint state with attractive toning is less typical. It was sold for $216 at Heritage Auctions. Next, 1942 deal in Cent in mint state 67 plus, graded as red by NGC. Despite the Denver Mint producing an enormous number of cents in 1942 during the wartime, the demand for coins in circulation still outpaced the supply. Many believed that the millions of older cents were out of circulation due to unintentional hoarding, a problem that grew especially noticeable during the holiday season. The Treasury even encouraged 30 million schoolchildren to join a pre-Christmas effort to get these idle coins back into use. While most 1942 D cents were well produced, the increased output led to some die wear. Collectors should therefore be selective when looking for coins with strong strikes. This wartime gem was sold for $240 on November 12th, 2024. The 1964 Kennedy of dollar accented hair variety graded as PR68 by PCGS. It is a prized and iconic piece among collectors of the Kennedy series. At this high grade, the coin has superb proof quality with mirror-like surfaces and virtually no visible flaws, making it an exceptional example. The accented hair variety is one of most recognized and sought after Kennedy of dollar proof varieties. It is identifiable by the extra detail in Kennedy's hair, which appears more pronounced and textured compared to the standard design. This feature was part of the original master hub used to strike some of early 1964 proof half dollars, but was later altered after Jacqueline Kennedy reportedly requested a softer look for the hair leading uh, to a redesign mid-production. Consequently, the accented hair variety was minted in smaller quantities, adding to its desirability. This collector's item ended up selling for 
$264. The 1935S Mercury Dime graded MS67 full bands by PCGS. It is an exceptional and highly desirable coin, representing one of the finest quality examples of this date and mint. At MS67, this Mercury Dime boasts outstanding eye appeal, strong luster, and remarkably clean surfaces, making it a standout among collectors. The full band's designation is particularly significant for Mercury Dimes. It indicates that the central bands on the faces are fully split and well defined. Achieving the full band's designation is challenging, especially for Mercury Dimes from San Francisco Mint, like the 1935S due to often weaker strike at this facility. Only small percentage of 1935S Mercury Dimes exhibits a full band detail and in such high grade as MS67, it's a true rarity. This beautifully toned gem was sold for $1140. The 1932S Washington Quarter is a key date in series, particularly coveted by collectors due to its low mintage and historical significance as one of the first year issue of the Washington Quarter. With only 480,000 quarters struck at San Francisco Mint in 1932, this coin is highly sought after, especially in higher grades like MS65. This 1932S quarter in gem mint state condition exhibits a sharp strike, crisp details, and attractive luster. While examples in circulated grades like are collectible, finding an uncirculated 1932S quarter with minimal marks and appealing surfaces is rare. This quarter dollar ended up selling for $2,220 on November 12, 2024. Here is 1990s Lincoln Cent in PR68 condition. Comes with red deep camera designation from PCGS. The S mint mark was inadvertently let off the die used to strike a small quantity of proof Lincoln Cents in 1990, creating this popular guidebook and cherry pickers variety. This spectacular PR68 red dip cameo example displays full definition on all design elements and the deeply mirrored fields contrast profoundly with frosty devices. The original red surfaces are close to technical perfection. Recent estimates place the number of certified examples at about 250 pieces, most of which grade PR68, PR69 deep or ultra cameo. It was sold for $3,120 recently at Heritage Auctions. The 1953 Jefferson Nickel graded MS66 Plus Full Steps by PCGS is a stunning example of this mid-century coin. With a grade of MS66 Plus, this nickel is considered an exceptional high-grade specimen, showcasing a remarkable strike quality, sharp detail, and minimal contact marks. The Full Steps designation in particular adds to the coin's appeal and the value. The quality control continued inexorable, inexorable tumble in 1953. The 1953 P nickels were made with little care, most being weakly struck, slightly dull and dark as issued. Those having five full steps are rare, ones with six full steps being all but unknown. This nickel was sold for $6,468.75 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. And the most valuable lot of today's episode, 1957 Proof Jefferson Nickel, graded as PR67 Plus Deep Cameo by PCGS. The surge in demand for modern proof sets peaked in 1957 with collectors eagerly purchasing multiple sets. This led to a dramatic increase in proof set sales, doubling those of 1956. However, as a million plus mintage for this year triggered a negative market reaction, causing a temporary collapse. Despite these setbacks, the market recovered just a few years later, while cameo proofs are relatively rare as a percentage of the total mintage. The large number of dyes needed for such high production level resulted in a greater total quantity of these pieces, as was typical before the 1970s. Ultra cameo or deep cameo proofs remain exceptionally rare. This one was sold for $20,812.50 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction on November 3rd, 2024. Thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to like the video and smash subscribe button if you haven't done so. Also, you can send your rare coin pictures or footage to an email shown on the screen below this coin. And God's willing, see you in the next video.